10 years with me. I really don't know how he does it. Let's go through the history that brought us here. Welcome or welcome back to Slow Roll. My name is Stephanie. Videos every Wednesday on chronic illness, day-to-day <laughs> -day management, and product reviews. If that's something that interests you, please subscribe down below and follow along on our journey. This is a special video to share with you Luke and I's love story and celebrate my wonderful husband as we hit our 10 years together this week. Luke, I know you hate being in the spotlight, but you deserve some crazy amounts of recognition for everything you do for me every day. Now let's try and condense the story into 10 minutes or less. Let's see how I do. Follow me as I get ready. Well, part one of me getting ready because it's gonna take me two days uh, as we get ready to celebrate our anniversary tomorrow and I share with you our lovely journey. Well, our story starts a little interestingly. Most people would probably say that I was a little nuts. We met on a dating app uh, back in 2012 and uh, after chatting on the app for some time, some time, okay, let's be real, a few hours, uh, we decided we wanted to meet. And so Luke was chatting and was saying, oh, you know, well, we can, you know, meet up tomorrow or whatever. And I'm like, why not now? Right? It's two in the morning at this point. And I'm like, well, there's a park near my house. Because of course, let's not meet at my house. Because that would be, you know, way too much. So Luke meets me at the park. I later find out that he tells his friends that he's taking $20 with him and his license and that's it. And his comment was, well, worst case, I'll finish with a good story. Well, he got a great story. He got a wife. <laughs> well, a few years later anyways. To this day, we still reminisce as to whether or not we really started dating on the Saturday or the Friday. But we do agree that we both knew what we wanted in a partner. So we wasted no time when we realized that this was going to be something real. I met his parents on our third date because that's how that works, right? And within three weeks, I had moved in with Luke. If you have not figured it out yet, I'm a lemur. I jump and jump and branch from branch. I just simply don't know how to stop. And especially back then, I definitely did not know how to slow down. And so that was definitely something that went really quickly. Still don't regret it to this day. There's just so many lovely memories from that time when we first started dating. Our first few years were simply filled with some crazy adventures. We went on this lovely camping trip within the first few months of us dating and we traveled New York, went to Montreal. I brought Luke to Quebec City. He'd never been before. And we just simply lived our best, craziest 20s life. And of course we acquired a cat or two in the process. Life was just kind of easy going and that's the way we loved it. It was uh, a great few years and we have such beautiful memories from those trips and we can't wait to get back on the road in the coming years and uh, you know relive some of those lovely memories. Toothbrush time. Now my electro toothbrush power is done so we're just gonna go manual today. <laughs> So fast forward to 2016 and some very hectic years to come. Not only would we get engaged in the summer of 2016, we would also a few weeks later buy our first house that was going to be built over the next nine months. And I also became hospitalized after becoming paralyzed from the neck down in late 2016. Luke would not only spend two weeks running around between getting to the hospital, working full time, managing the house build, keeping up with our current house, and managing our now three pets. Life was just a little crazy. 
2017 brings a new year, a new home, a wonderful move out of our rental and into our first home of our own. A bunch of new possibilities. I was back on my feet for the most part and Luke just couldn't wait to get landscaping started in the back of the new house. And we were just looking forward to what 2017 was going to bring. We were determined to move forward and we did. 2017 was a great year. We got lots of things done in the new house and things were looking up. 2018 rolls around, it was going to be a big year full of excitement with the wedding coming up. Unfortunately, I hit my first major health setback, which meant that Luke had to take on a lot more of the wedding planning than I think he ever wanted. And it was one of those things, we just didn't know what to expect. I was determined to get on my feet for the wedding and we even planned a choreographed uh, wedding, our first wedding dance and Luke decided to say yes and we got back on our feet and danced our first dance which was just a dream come true for me. It was a day to remember and one that just simply couldn't have been the way it was without Luke's support and all of the hard work he put in while I was rest and recuperating and trying to make sure that I was going to be able to be on my feet for our wedding, which I was. It was just simply a beautiful day and it just could have never happened without him. So this is actually day two of me getting ready. Uh, unfortunately, after I blew dry my hair yesterday, I really wasn't feeling well. I got really nauseous and dizzy and so I had to stop. So here we are day two, continuing getting ready. So the following years after our wedding, uh, life got a little crazy. Unfortunately, my health started to continue to decline and Luke really had to pull up the bootstraps and you know do more than his fair share of everything. Um, from household chores to caring for me. Um, it's definitely been a journey and it's led us to this point. This incredible moment where we, you know, had to make the decision, do we stay in our old house or do we move? And all of those things have been decisions that have weighed heavily on myself as, you know, if it wasn't for my illness. We would still be in the old house and, you know, enjoying those moments instead of, you know, living through the last very challenging year of our life. But, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely been worth it. My illnesses and, you know, everything that I'm living through are slowly starting to get better. But anyways, back to the lovely story. So the following few years of our lives after our wedding um, were, you know, definitely incredibly challenging. We spent a lot of those years, uh, you know, stuck in our bedroom due to my health getting worse and things just not quite going the way we had hoped when it came to my illnesses and diagnoses and things like that. It hasn't been until this past, I would say 18 months or so that we've really started to get the answers we were hoping to get, you know, multiple years ago. So here we are and I'm definitely stronger for it. Thanks to Luke, the incredible accomplishments and everything we've accomplished in the last 12 months uh, could have never happened without going through the last few years and, and you know, living the struggle of chronic illness and the unknown and just not knowing what would be next for our future. And you know what, you know, as much as it was challenging and, you know, a lot of those days we'd never want to redo, it's one of those things, it brought us closer together. And, you know, I, I thank him every day for being there for me and keeping me strong and keeping me smiling even if it's a bad day and just being the amazing husband he is and you know not only just on anniversaries as much as i am really looking forward to going out today it's one of those things that he's he's there for me every day no matter what's going on and the journey we've been on has definitely not been the one we thought we uh we're gonna be on, but here we are. And you know, 
we'll see what the next 10 years brings. But for now, I'm just happy to be, you know, I get to spend every day with him and, you know, I, I appreciate that he cares for me um, no matter what's going on in our journey. And, you know, you guys have been there for part of our journey now that we've been in this new house and, you know, things are looking up from a diagnosis perspective. We're, I think, inching closer to something that might be realistic. And, you know, I just feel like we've made a lot of strides in the last 12 months as much as it's been a very challenging 12 months with the move and the reno and you know be me you know at the beginning of the year being quite ill and you know thankfully bouncing back to an extent but i could have never done that without luke and making sure that he was on top of my meds and everything that needed to get done on top of the reno and everything that came with that that you guys have seen us you know live through so i just want to thank you hun for everything you do for me and yeah that's that's pretty much the journey that brings us to today 10 years together and uh you know here's to many many more to come i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did recording it a special thank you to our editor this week adam who helped me make this a surprise for luke so thank you so much adam till next time don't forget to slow your roll